All right, we're now traveling very quickly to breaking news we have right now coming in about developments regarding our neighboring nation of Pakistan. I believe reports are saying that the Pakistan government has issued a circular for schools to observe uh, Kashmir Solidarity Day on Feb 3rd, 2023. So in just a few days from now. In the circular, uh, the government has said that schools have been asked to hold speeches on a large range of topics. Very quickly, let's go over to my colleague Tejinder. After that, we'll speak to the former Deputy Chief Minister Nirmal Singh also to get his reaction. But first, let's speak to Tejinder. Tejinder, uh, before we go into an overview, bring us more details about the circular. Also, please clarify for us. I know that last year, Sindh in Pakistan had issued a similar such circular. Nationally, have we seen such circulars be issued before? Bring us context, please. See, it seems that uh, the Pakistan's anti-India narrative or anti-India and anti-Hindu hate once again stands exposed, uh, wherein uh, the Pakistan National Council of uh, Art, which is a part of government of Pakistan, they have issued a circular. In this circular, they are saying that they would be observing a so-called Kashmir Solidarity Day. Uh, and uh, in that connection, schools have across Pakistan, they have been asked to hold programs and if you see in one such program anti india and anti non muslim speeches are being uh, promoted in if you see the event list it shows speech uh, jannat kisi kafir ko mili hai na milegi so that means that uh, no uh, 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 kafir uh, which pakistanis uh, they they call non muslims and kafir that non muslims will never go to uh, heaven so this is uh, the 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 topic of the speech which uh, the duration for this speech has been kept at 4 minutes and uh, it 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 can be uh, the speech can be given in urdu or english so the, it clearly shows their anti minority okay, anti if you just stay with us for a second i have to go over to uh, a guest we have with us but i want to come back to you what i want to understand from you in a few minutes is the historical context how many times have we seen this take place before right now though i want to go over to the former deputy chief minister of jammu and kashmir nirmal singh Sir, good morning. Thank you so much for taking our time this morning to speak to us here on CNN News 18. Sir, you've been on the ground in Jammu and Kashmir. Therefore, your opinion here, your expertise here is something we're coming for. Can you tell us about the impact of such an announcement? Actually, I'm on the ground and I'm also a student of history. Our Pakistan was created on this false consciousness and it's surviving on this hatredness. The circular which has been issued by the Pakistani government, they are preparing next generation for jihad. And ultimately, we will see that it will have its impact on India and especially in Jammu and Kashmir. 42,000 dead bodies have been have fallen in Jammu and Kashmir due to this uh, uh, approach uh, and uh, this, uh, 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 this uh, proxy war, which is based on uh, uh, there's uh, jihad. So this is the impact. And most of them, majority of them, they are Muslims. Mm. This jihad is not against minorities only. It's uh, against the Muslims also who don't subscribe to the jihadi agenda. Now the question is, the, the, the debate is good Muslim, bad Muslim. Okay. Good ta uh, terrorist, bad ta ta terrorist. Mr. They are fighting. Mr. Singh, can and you just this understand is not against you? India or Pakistan. Mr. Singh, can I just understand from you, in years in the past, so before this year, how have we seen Kashmir Solidarity Day be marked in Pakistan? Can you bring us a little bit more context here? Pakistani's Solidarity Day with the Kashmir, it has brought terrorism, separatism, jihad, killings of 42,000 dead bodies, uh, people in Jammu and Kashmir. Whether it is Marina Bhatt, Lieutenant Fia, Rajani Bala or Rahul Bhatt, this is the this is the outcome of this uh, solidarity day. Hmm. We know, we understand, and uh, we have suffered it. So no Kashmiri, whether he is Hindu, Muslim, or Sikh, is going to subscribe to this solidarity. Hmm. They won't support it. Okay. Now they are reviving their activities because. After nine, uh, fifth, uh, this uh, June 19, uh, nine, uh, 2019, because terrorism is at, uh, at the last leg. Hmm. Separatists, they, are, they have no relevance. Now Pakistan is uh, once again trying to revive its agenda 
which is not going to succeed in Jammu and Kashmir. That's very clear. And even Kashmiris, the Muslims of Jammu and Kashmir won't accept this. This is very clear. Mr. Singh, could I ask you, since you have been there as a leader in an administrative sense, if you could just tell our audiences more, we know that this day has been celebrated uh, or commemorated by Pakistan since 1990. So I want to understand from you, sir, in terms of context, could you tell us what notifications has India issued to Pakistan, how periodically and at what level about this day? Actually, this is a, this a solidarity, so-called solidarity day. It's the, on the agenda of Pakistan to show to the world over, the world community, mm. to the Kashmiris, that we are with you. Mm. That's the day they, are, they celebrate. Right. But sir, what has the Indian but, side said in the last few years about it to Pakistan? Could you tell us more about that? Actually, Jammu Kashmir is a part of, uh, uh, integral part of India. And uh, any outstanding issue with Pakistan is that to, we have to get POK back to India mm. because that's our part. Mm. And our uh, there's a parliament resolution of 1994. It shows clearly shows it. that is unanimous resolution that any outstanding issue with Pakistan that is how we have to get our there's a that part POJK back to India. That's the state of the Indian government. Right. Hmm. And you'll see that Pakistan, what is going on in POK? Daily, there are, uh, there's a uh, few rights. Hmm. People, they are they're struggling. They, they are demanding that all the routes to Jammu and Kashmir, whether it's a Skardu route, uh, uh, this Kashmir route, they should be open. This is the demand which is uh, coming from the POJK. Hmm. Hmm. That's a ground reality. Hmm. And sir, this particular... Pakistan is not going to even control this, uh, this POK, which is under the illegal occupation of Pakistan. Sir, may I just ask you for some context? This circular that we're sharing with our audiences, we're actually playing it for our audiences on their screens. Uh, this circular is taking place on one side and something we're bringing our audiences as context is that the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Shahbaz Sharif, just a few days ago made a statement in which he said that he wanted India essentially to sit on the table with Pakistan to discuss Kashmir. Do you see that in contrast with this circular that's just been issued? Uh, definitely. When this uh, news was broken, when we heard the statement of uh, uh, this uh, Shawas Sharif, we uh, said that they must prove themselves. Mm. And this is the proof. This is the proof that uh, the, uh, how much uh, uh, this uh, friendship, mm. up to what level friendship they want with India. Mm. That's up. They are hypocrites. They, 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 they say one thing and do another thing. Okay. They do, you can't believe Pakistan. You can't believe Pakistan. Oh. Even then, we see that some of the leaders in Kashmir, uh, they say that you must talk to Pakistan. Who we have to talk? The people who don't have, uh, you can say, uh, any, you can say, uh, uh, local stand right there. Whether it's army or uh, this uh, government, there's none to, to talk to. All right. So Jamal Singh, sir. India's very clear. Indian government stand is very clear. Sir, that thank you for joining one us. One and this talk can't go together. Sir, thank you.